Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we'll learn about intersection of sets and its properties. First of all, let us discuss intersection of sets. Now, the intersection of two sets A and B is a set that contains elements that are in A, that is the set A, and set B, both. That is, A into function B. Now, this is the symbol which is used for the intersection. So, A into section B is equal to the set containing the element x such that x belongs to A and x belongs to B. That means A into section B is the set of all those elements that are in A and B both. Now let us discuss one example. Here, if A is a set containing the letters of the word book and B is a set containing the letters of the word cook that is A is a set containing the elements that are the letters of the word book so A is a set containing the elements B, O and K and B is a set containing the letters of the word cook. So B is a set containing the elements C, O and K. Now A in this section B is a set containing the elements which are in A and B both. So here, the elements which are in A and B both are O and K. So A intersection B is a set containing the elements O and K. Now let us discuss the properties of intersection of sets. Now if A and B are two sets, then the first property of intersection of sets is A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. And this is called the commutative law. Now let us discuss one example. To prove this property, now here let A is set containing the elements A, E, I, O and U and B is a set containing the elements A, B, C, D and E. Now A in this section B is a set containing the elements which are in A and B both. Now here, this is the set A and this is the set B and the elements which are in common to both these sets are A and E. So A intersection B is a set containing the elements A and E. Now let us find B intersection A. Now B in the section A is a set containing the elements which are in B and A both. Now this is the set A and this is the set B. So the elements which are in common or the elements which are in B and A both are A and E. So B in the section A is a set containing the elements A and E. Now these two are equal sets. Therefore, 
A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. Now let us discuss the second property of the intersection of sets. And that is, if A, B and C are three sets, then A intersection B the whole intersection C is equal to A intersection B intersection C the whole. And this is called the associative law. Now for proving this, let us discuss one example. Now we have let the set A is a set containing the elements A, E, I, O and U and B is a set containing the elements A, B, C, D and E and C is a set containing the elements E, F and G. Now A intersection B will be equal to the set containing the elements which are in A and B both. And those elements are A and E. So A intersection B is equal to the set containing the elements A and E. And B intersection C is the set containing the elements which are in B and C both. So the elements which are in B and C both. Now here you can see that there is only one element which is in common to the set B and C. So B intersection C is a set containing the single element E. Now let us find A intersection B, the whole intersection C. Now A intersection B is a set containing the elements A and E. Intersection the set C, which is a set containing the elements E, F and G. Now we have to find the intersection of these two sets will be equal to the set containing the single element E. As there is only one element which is common to both these sets. And now let us find a intersection, B intersection, C the whole. Now A is a set containing the elements A, E, I, O and U. Intersection, B intersection, C is a set containing the single element E. Now we have to find the intersection of these two sets which is equal to the set containing the single element E. As here also E is common that is, only one element, which is E, is common to both these sets. Therefore, A intersection B, the whole intersection C, is equal to A intersection B intersection C, the whole, which is called the associative law. Now, let us discuss the next property, which is, if A is a subset of B, that is, the set A is a subset of set B, then A intersection B is equal to A. Now again we will discuss an example. And here let A is a set containing the elements 1, 2 and 3 and B is a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now here you can see that A is a subset of B as all elements of A are in B. So we can write that is A is a subset of B and now we will find A into section B now A intersection B will be equal to the set containing the elements 1, 2 and 3 as these elements are in both A and B. Now you can see that the set containing the elements 1, 2 and 3 is equal to the set A. So this is equal to the set A. Therefore, 
if A is a subset of B, then A intersection B is equal to the set A. Now let us discuss the next property, which is A intersection B is a subset of set A and A intersection B is a subset of set B. Now let us discuss one example. Now here, if A is a set containing the elements, a, E, I, O and U and B is a set containing the elements A, B, C, D and E then A intersection B will be equal to the set containing the elements A and E. Now here you can see that all the elements of A intersection B that is the set A intersection B are in the set A. Therefore, we can write that A intersection B is a subset of the set A. And also, all the elements of the set A intersection B are in the set B. So, we can write A intersection B is a subset of the set B. Now let us discuss the next property which is A intersection the empty set which is phi is equal to phi. Now let us discuss one example and here let the set A is a set containing the elements 4, 5 and 6 and phi is an empty set. That is the set with no elements. Then A intersection phi will be equal to the set containing the elements which are in A and the empty set both. That are the elements which are common to both these sets. But here you can see that there is no element which is in common to both these sets. Therefore, A intersection phi is also an empty set, that is the set with no elements, which is denoted by phi. Now let us discuss the next property, which is if A is a subset of the universal set, now let here the universal set is denoted by xi, then A intersection A complement is equal to phi which is the empty set. Now let us discuss one example. Now here, if the universal set xi is a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and A is a set containing the elements 2, 3 and 4 that is A is a subset of the universal set as all the elements of A are in the universal set. Now A complement is a set of all those elements of the universal set which are not in A. So those elements are 1, 5 and 6. So A complement is a set containing the elements 1, 5 and 6. Then A intersection A complement will be equal to now A is a set containing the elements 2, 3 and 4. Intersection a complement which is a set containing the elements 1, 5 and 6 which is equal to now we have to find the intersection of these two sets that means we have to find a set containing the elements which are in A and A complement both. Now here we can observe 
that there are no elements which are in A and A complement both. That is, there are no elements which are in common to both these sets. This means that A intersection A complement is an empty set. Therefore, if A is a subset of the universal set, then A intersection A complement is an empty set. So in this session, we have learnt about intersection of sets and its properties. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.